Ladies and gentlemen. Module Federation has made it easy to do runtime dependency shared components, but can we get to Semver style versioning mechanics? We thought it would take a miracle. It's Christmas, Theo. It's the time of miracles, so be of good cheer. Well, Jacob Ebby has delivered on that miracle. Let's go take a look. All right, I'm gonna pull this starter package. It's got two things in it. It's got a library starter and it's got a basic webpack application that we're then gonna consume that shared component with. All right, we'll go into TMP and we will deget this and then bring it up in VS Code. All right, so what we have are two packages here. We've got our React Unpackage Module Federation Lib Starter. That's what we're gonna to use to create the library. And then this one we're going to use to consume that library. It's basically just a web-packed application. So it you know, brings up React and there you go. I'm gonna go change this to the name of the library I'm gonna create. So I'm gonna call this Jahur Module Federation Slider. We're gonna make a slider and all this has Chakra built into it already. So we got an index file, but we need to go and create a slider. And first we're going to import React. And then we're gonna import, I guess, grid and maybe button from Chakra. It doesn't need to be Chakra, you can use anything you want really, but you know, this just makes it so it's pretty. And then we'll set the columns. Let's do something really simple. Put a button, maybe left, a button on the right. And then the slider contents, I guess, between the two. But I also wanna go and put a version in there. So I'm just gonna say that this is version 1.0.0 of our slider. Let's go take a look at our package JSON. It's got our name, so let's go and change that to our MF slider. And then the only other thing we need to do is go into our webpack config and we need to expose that component. So I'm gonna go and do slider and bring it in from source slider, just like that. So the first thing I need to do is go into the MF slider project and then yarn. And then yarn build. And then finally, I need to do yarn publish. And this is actually going to send this up to NPM. So it's going to go out as 1.0.0. And it's going to go up to NPM. In the meantime, let's go and essentially import that into our application on the other side. Go and get our name, her slider, close a bunch of files here. Now I'm gonna go over to our webpack config over here, and I'm gonna bring in Jahur MF slider, just like that, into webpack, and we give it a classic MPM JS Semver style version on it. Clo good to pay attention to here. So what this is gonna do, what having published that package is gonna do is actually also go and package it and send it off to unpackage. So let's go take a look at that, unpackage, and then I'm gonna say, uh, let's see, this was the original one, I'm gonna go and look at mine, slider at 1.0.0, see if it's at, all right, it's already published up to unpackage, which has done its work of putting up the code for our slider. And I will go and bring it in over here. So I'm gonna import slider from, let's go, here we go. Just like that, is that the right name? Let's just make sure. Yep, lowercase slider, it is. And we'll drop it in there for the slider. Awesome, all right. Let us go over into the starter package project, yarn that, and then start it up. Bet your ass I wish to proceed. 
And there you go. So we've got now our slider, which is coming in from that library, brought in not via NPM, but actually via Unpackage, which was auto-published through doing the publish to NPM, and then brought down via Module Federation. So cool. Let's go over and check it out in our console and our network. And then we can see that we're bringing in those remote entries and automatically bringing in that uh, slider component looks pretty cool. All right, let's go and push a, another version of this. We'll add a border to it and, and bump the version so we can kind of see it. Go back into slider. We'll add some styling. And maybe a little padding. And we'll say this is going to be 1.01. .01. And we'll go back here, we'll build it again, and then publish it again. And then this time we're gonna say that this is 1.01. .01. And this is where it might take a little bit because you know, you've got NPM, which has to get up to speed with this, and then it, you Unpackage has to also catch up with it. So this might take a little bit. I'm gonna compress it for the video, but we'll see. All of you relax. This is a matter of inconvenient timing. That's all. There you go. I didn't actually have to redo anything. The reason is that this remote over entry over here, if we look at the URL on this, that's actually that 5e right here is an encoded caret. So what it's saying is uh, we want caret 1.0.0. And in Semver world, that means anything above 1.0.0. .0 .0. So we're going to get 1.0.1 .1 for free, and we didn't have to recompile the code on the client at all. We just got the new version, and it, that, that's great. Took about five minutes or so for Unpackage to kind of catch up, but if you were to host this on your own system, you can go and set those caching values to whatever you want. So this is really cool, but uh, what happens when we want to go and downgrade it to 1.0.0 again. Let's give that a try. So let's say that 1.0.1, that, that messed us up. So we're just going to go and redeploy with just 1.0.0. Does that work? Well, we just changed, we just took out the carrot over here on to her MF slider. We'll yarn start again and see how we do. So let's hit refresh again. And now we get our 1.0.0 slider. Just like that. actual Semver mechanics using module federation in possibly the easiest way to distro components that I can think of. Super exciting. All right, I hope you enjoyed that lightning look at Jacob Ebby's pattern for packaging up our components as CommonJS and then sending them off to NPM and then in turn unpackage picking those up and giving us an incredibly convenient way to publish our components with as a runtime dependency that can then be ingested using module federation in pretty much a standard off the shelf Webpack 5 React application. It's really exciting and I can't wait to hear what you think about it. Be sure to put your thoughts and comments and suggestions down in the comment section down below. Of course, you can jump on the Discord service server and ask us about this directly. There's a link to that in the description. In the meantime, of course, feel free to like and share this video with your friends. Try it out for yourself. Hit that subscribe button. And in the meantime, be happy, be healthy, and be safe. And when Alexander saw the breadth of his domain, he wept, for there were no more worlds to conquer.